Now, we're closer than it seems to be. I don't know when, but it's real, real close. I may be building a platform for somebody else to step on. I may be taken before that time. I don't know. The question is, who should step on that platform? Let's parallel this to Moses and John the Baptist. Moses, when people failed to see what was the attraction on that mountain, they decided to idolize the message of redemption which Moses had. It is in the silence of the prophet in the mountain that made the people denominate and create a new belief which they knew it had no true basis of revelation. This is the opening of the seventh seal in Moses' time that made people to be seen what was in them. They did come out of Egypt, but Egypt was still in them. Read between the lines, you so-called message believers. Revelation chapter 8 speaks of the sin of silence. Silence cannot be interpreted because it is the revelation of God himself in individual life. The interpretation of the silence will result in just assumptions of what was happening. But Revelation chapter 10 explains the event that was taking place during the opening of the seventh seal. This event opens the rest of them seals because it is the coming of the Lord. Let's take an insight in the time of John the Baptist introducing the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. After preaching for so long, he then preaches a transition of him and the person whom he was introducing. Not John the Baptist didn't die until Christ himself takes the platform. Behold, the lamp was the great message of John the Baptist, which was supposed to be received by a revelation. When he preaches, he says, there is coming someone greater than me. But when it happens, he says the lamp. And only two of his disciples caught the transition and the rest kept following the message of John the Baptist, whom Paul met and re-baptized them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Here is the Elijah of the last days saying he was creating a platform for someone to step on whom then is worthy to step on it. Is it a great pastor, a great evangelist, an eighth messenger, a deacon, or a great man that can be called an absolute to the message of the hour? All oh, these are not worthy to step on that platform which was created by William Aaron Brenham because the message of Malachi is not to introduce a man who don't own heaven, but to introduce Christ. As John the Baptist was sent to forerun the first coming of the Lord Jesus, so you are sent to forerun the second coming. Some people allowed gossiping, polygamy, hatred, nakedness, and personal revelation to be on that platform which Jesus Christ should step on. It is not possible for a man to rule over a man, but always people choose a man instead of God because Jesus is always the rejected king. Clean the platform and let it be free from whatever you did put. Anything that may even appear to be evil. Clean all that. Let the house cleaning start now for God to come and dwell.